What are you doing? We're about to go to the gym. Yeah. What are you doing? I'll get that hair fresh and baddie. What are you doing? How many I think more? I went to like 450 and that's it. Four I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Get it, Second attempt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> okay, guys. Damien's um, about to lift weight. We're doing uh, five sets of three with. Uh, 165 pounds. I have never touched this weight for more than like sets of two, but I'm so fat now that it's easy. Not really, still so hard. Angles. Angles! Hi guys, me and Sean just finished up an incredible shoulder workout and we're about to go meet up with uh, JJ and Alex. Say goodbye to Alex before he takes his bus down to Vancouver. We'll see y'all there. What are you doing here, cutie? Just hanging out. So how's your day? How's your morning? And why are you alone right now by yourself? Uh, we're waiting for Jackson right now. Yeah? Yeah. Hey guys, well, uh, five feet away because it's not gay. <laughs> Sean! Yo, how was well. your workout, Sean? Um, I feel fatter than I did when it began, so... Uh, uh, uh. Mm. What are you doing with that sling, stupid? <laughs> Disgusting arm. I got surgery because sending it too hard. It oh hurts! My God. It, it hurts! It hurts So to what happened? Cool. They just cut off your whole shoulder and, like, gave yeah. you a bionic well, they arm? Cut it, they cut it open, but I was asleep, so... It's like... Oh, that was that big. Bye, Alex! Terrible high five. You, you, you get on that bus! Friends for content. Hi guys, we just went home, grabbed a quick snack. Now, me and JJ are in here at the village. We're about to go get some food from Warehouse. Meet up with Marcus, Keegan, later. Oh, I'm starving. What about you, I'm, Sean? I'm hungry. I'm, I'm a... in the mood for some <laughs> Hello! Hey. <laughs> Hey, Wait, How what, are you what's today? on your chest, Jackson? so happy right now if we just shared some nuggy poos, wouldn't you, Keegan? Yeah, absolutely. I love you so much. Shut up. Mook got the keys drawing up up in the hood, gotta make it out. Never tie my shoes until them times I had to break out. Heard that nigga got it while I wanted time to stake out. You can lose focus, time is money, that shit play it out. Old heads telling me be careful, cops is racist. I like my jewelry, plain diamonds, and my girl bracelet. Never want for night, cut my problems, I'ma face them. I'm feeling all boys right now. We got Jackson, Keegan, <laughs> Marcus, and Sean. It's a good time. We have to wait 40 minutes for these seats, but on the bright side, I get to steal all of Jen's chicken wings. <laughs> mm. What is up, guys? So it is around 12 at night right now. That last meal that you guys saw in the village was around four hours ago, and we just spend the last little bit doing some editing, watching a movie. Nonetheless, we're about to go head upstairs right now because I gotta get this last meal of the night. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so right now, right here, we have copped the final meal of the night. We got around 150 grams of blueberries, around 50 grams of this delicious all-natural almond butter, and almost three cups of non-fat 
all plain, all natural Greek yogurt. And the thing is, whenever I go on vacation like this, where there's like a grocery store in range of the house, I will always, always go pick up some sort of yogurt or some sort of fat-free protein base just because I'm gonna be eating so many carbs and so much like junk food throughout the day, usually on vacation, that I think yogurt and stuff like this is just a great cheap alternative to getting your protein in rather than having to bring protein to wherever you're going or just buying a ton of chicken breast is just a cheaper, cleaner, easier to consume alternative. Yeah, it's been working for me for a long time. Fun fact, when I was younger, I used to like solely consume Greek yogurt as like my main protein source just because I used to not be a fan of eating meat. I know, a little bit of a bitch move. But anyways, I got used to it. Got used to the plain bland taste and now I find it pretty delicious. So with that said, we're gonna finish this last meal of the night. Good morning, Sean. <laughs> Alright guys, so today is Thursday, another training day, another day here in Whistler, but uh, where are we going first, Sean? We're going to throw some axes. You heard it there, folks. Alright, guys. We just got done with some axe throwing. JJ decided to join us on this journey. We had to stop here at a green mustache to get Sean's fill of vegan gains. For sure. But you already know, we be copping some food soon. Possibly saving animals. One saving green smoothie at a time. Of course, of course. Possibly going to get a nice little arm workout. Jackson's going to have a massive right arm after this. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished a nice round of axe throwing. I got Sean and this disabled ginger on the bus. We're going to the gym right now, except he can't because he has this stupid fake injury. And <laughs> how do you get this injury, Jackson? You see, uh, uh, I was there's this guy who's saying like women are really uh, dumb, and I was like, don't say that. And then he got hurt more than me. This is all I got from it. He got really hurt. That was the dumbest possible way you could have said it. <laughs> what is up guys, it's around 4.30 in the afternoon right now, but to go get changed and hit this workout. The boys are at home, so I'm a little bit pressed for time as I'm trying to meet up with them after. So we're gonna go get a quick, efficient chest, back and arm workout in. We're gonna be doing two main compound movements for the chest and the back. And then after that, dropping down to some very light, accessory isolation movements for just the arms because usually Thursdays are like my accessory days but I thought might as well get a little bit more volume for the bigger muscle groups I'm gonna have the whole workout link in the description as usual and I'm not gonna record too much just because press for time and I don't really want to so with that said without further ado here is the top sets of today Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the vlogs. It has been one long, long time since I've sat down and done one of these voiceovers for y'all, let alone recorded or even edited one of these videos. And I like to apologize for that. Lots of stuff has just been going on. Comes with being a high schooler, comes with exam season. But guess what, it's all done. We got a lot of catching up to do because over the past I don't know how long it's been, like two, three, seven years. So much has happened. First and foremost, we've gone a lot fatter. By a lot fatter, I mean 20 pounds fatter. Yeah, we really took this bulk to a whole new level. And right now we're cutting down and prepping for our third official powerlifting meet. We're doing the provincial championships, which is gonna be everybody, the best of the best in the province of BC competing for the title. And it's probably gonna be my first competition that actually means something in terms of ranking to get to nationals and even possibly 
the world championships, baby. But besides that, other stuff have happened. We've completed a whole season of rugby, got injured, snapped up an ankle, ate a lot of food, had a great time, had a birthday, turned 17, but we're back right now. And all that stuff I'm gonna touch on once I start picking up the camera and recording these videos again. And speaking of that, that is the main thing that I wanted to be talking about in this video because I have no idea what is going on in this workout. I recorded this like three months ago. So don't ask me for all that workout in the description BS. I know nobody even looks at that anyways. Um, it just looks like a nice push and pull day. Looks like some heavy ass weights and it looks like I'm enjoying myself out here and that's all that really matters. But time for the main event. So we are about two days out from the competition. The water cut is so brutally painful. Um, something that's happened is that this is the most amount of weight that I've ever had to cut in my life. My kidneys literally feel like they're failing right now, but that's all good. I'm pretty scared to make weight, I'm not gonna lie. I still have about eight to 10 pounds to go. I started at 180 pounds and I have to cut down to about 162, but that is for another video, another time. And I'm really, really, really excited to start picking up the camera and getting right back into it. Every single time I find myself sitting down and trying to edit these videos, I just can't do it because I really have to get into this groove. You know, I have to be doing it for a couple of weeks. But something that really motivated me is just going back and looking up the YouTube channel and seeing that not too many people have unsubscribed and that there's still some people hoping to see these videos come out. And that's really what just means so much. So with that said, the motivation is high as hell right now. And you guys already know, I cannot go through another whole competition without making a video about it. So I just wanted to put that here. Get ready for that. It's gonna come soon. The channel is back on, baby. Peace. Okay, so it is around 6 p.m. right now. It still looks incredible outside and we just finished up yet another amazing back and chest workout. What was supposed to be an arm workout with a little bit of back and chest sprinkled into it turned into a straight push-pull workout. And the reason for that is one, I was a little bit pressed for time and two, the movements were just feeling so good, decided to expand and keep working with that same repertoire. Right now we're walking back to Sean's house to grab a little bit of food to eat before we head out to the village and get a real proper dinner. Pat. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, uh, 22. So, on a girl I can laugh with, you dig? Like any girl named Stacy, she could get this bone, catch this bone. Even if she ugly, she named Stacy Bone In. Bone In, then it's out. Ha <laughs> ha. Sprinkle a little of that sugar on that. You want my cinnamon toast, girl? <laughs> it's me, I'm back here again. Who thought that we'd meet like this twice in a row? Ha. <laughs> That's funny. You know I love you, girl. You know my, you know you my everything. <laughs> Guess I just get crazy like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ab about to die on the streets. We just finished our first dinner of the night. Like heading to yellow, Creek Bread the right now. Shit! <laughs> heading to Creek Bread for our second dinner, cause we are all obese. All right, guys, so change of plans. Creek Bread was too full, so we are deciding to go to a different restaurant, but at least we get to walk through this beautiful plaza. Mm. All righty, guys, so we finally found a restaurant. That sounds pretty good. We all just ordered called Cure. Cannot wait for this food. I had a game the next day, you know I fucking ball. Hold up, let me slow down, I miss my granny mom. I got PTSD from seeing dead bodies. So much time in the city gave me, I'm almost out of it. I was born to the streets, won't let you take me out of it. It's a reason we got pistols, but we get some shoes. It's a reason why we robbing and taking loot. The main reason why we banging red and banging blue. Will it set your face now? It's a tattoo. Growing up, I've been Oh, certainly is a walk all right, guys, after two hours of walking around Creekside, we finally found a place to eat, and it is absolutely delicious. We are literally sitting here on a couch, eating our food, being served a plus serving. 
Yeah, I'm happy. We're gonna finish this last meal here and catch you guys in the next clips. What is up guys, eventful day. Right here we got three cups of this non-fat Greek yogurt. It's around 12 at night, meaning that is gonna be the last meal of the day, which means I'm gonna spend the rest of the night finally editing these Whistler vlogs, which means this is the end of the video. Tomorrow we are heading over to a shooting range, so I'll reset the vlogs there. With that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Growing up, up in the hood, gotta make it out. Never tie my shoes until them times I had to break out. Heard that nigga got it, well, I wanted time to stake out. You can lose focus, time is money, that shit play it out. Old heads telling me, be careful, cops is racist. I like my jewelry, plain diamonds, and my girl bracelet. Never want for night, cut my problems, I'ma face them. I'm feeling like a crip, cause I'm stingy with them faces.